What's up YouTube? This is Botsian XFA9 guys. Today I'm coming to you with my latest tech profile video for June 2020. And today guys we're gonna be looking at my Blue Eyes OTK deck. I can tell you that right now this deck is probably one of the more interesting Blue Eyes builds I've ever put together. Just being able to play this against various decks, whether they be better or rogue, it can really hurt your opponent. Uh, right now the way I have the deck set up is going blind second. However, once I get through the main and extra deck, I will be showcasing my side deck to show you what cards we can play when your opponent basically forces you to go first. Because once they realize you're playing an OTK deck, they're going to want you to go first. So you can swap over to set up a little bit more of a control aspect and still go in and punch for game. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into this. Alright, so any Blue Eyes deck worth its salt is always going to run three Blue Eyes White Dragons. Level 8 can allow you to go into rank 8 plays, it has 3,000 attack points. You can normal summon it onto the field for additional power plays. All around, it just helps this deck get going and it makes the deck sing so well. So it's a very versatile card, even for a vanilla. So definitely worth having in any rank 8 decks, in my opinion. Okay. Now, the help set up for the OTK plays. We are playing the Ritual version, so I'm playing three copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. Both of the Blue Eyes Ritual monsters cannot be targeted by card effects or destroyed by card effects. That's very important to really remember. If Chaos Dragon is made with the OG Blue Eyes, it gains this effect whenever it attacks your opponent's monster. It changes the battle position of all your opponent's monsters that can be changed and bombs out their attack and defense to zero which is just insane. It's a permanent decrease, so your opponent's not going to be able to attack over you. It can inflict piercing damage as well, so hey, this is great. You're going to be able to get more life points off your opponent. But really, you're setting up with a big punch from one of the three copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Max. 4,000 attack points, and it can inflict double piercing damage on a monster with zero down defense. Yeah, you're pretty much going to be winning the game at that point. And it's very, very, very easy to get both those cards on the field at, in one go and be able to punch. So that's why I love running both of these cards together. Now to help you see your cards, we are running an Incantation Engine, three copies of Talismandra, and three copies of Candle. This is pretty much all you really need. Since this is an OTK deck, you're not going to be looking for... The opportunity to recur resources, that's why we're not going to be running that many other incantations in this deck. The way the incantations work is that if you can have Talismandra in your hand, you reveal another ritual monster, you can special summon it from your hand, and special summon candle from your deck, which will search your ritual spell you need. Vice versa, you reveal a ritual spell with candle in the hand, you can special summon Talismandra, and he will search your ritual monster that you need. Pretty much that's all, these are the only incantations that you need, and it serves the deck insanely well. Moving forward, we got for the hand traps, I got three copies of No Material. No Material is just amazing in a go second deck, primarily because if, if your opponent special summons a monster and you control no monsters, discard this card, target a monster, and that monster can't be used for tribute summoning, fusion summons, synchro summons, XC summons, or link summons. So, yeah, this card can really shut down plays. And so insanely well. You see a Jesse Grun, use it on this card, and all of a sudden you pretty much stop their place cold. Same thing with Mega Fan Beast O Lion, stop them cold. This, in my opinion, this hand trap is so underrated. This format, a lot, I think a lot of people just forget it exists. Uh, and yeah, it just does its job and does it so well, and it can really anger your opponent. Now, just in case your opponent can get around no materials effect, we are running three copies of Nibiru because it just blows your opponent board. And with Chaos Dragon in your deck, you can pretty much bottom out the attack and defense anyway and swing for game. So, always worth it. And last but not least, three copies of Infinite Impermanence just to negate monster effects. So, that's it for the hand trap lineups for the spells. Ritual spells, you want to be running three copies of Chaos Form and three copies of Advanced Ritual Art. Advanced Ritual Art will take a normal Blue Eyes from your decks, send it to the graveyard to Ritual Summon out 
your Chaos Dragon, and from there you can use Chaos Swarm to banish the Blue Eyes in your graveyard to bring out Chaos Max, thus getting both of those cards out in a single turn. Very easy. And in order to see your cards a little bit more, we do have three copies of Bingo Machine Go. Go can search out any Blue Eyes monster or any spell or track card that lists Blue Eyes White Dragon in its card text that includes Chaos Swarm, so definitely worth having in this deck. And we do have an extra deck, but we don't really go into it all that much, so three copies of Pot of Extravagance for extra drawers, so we can not really take it away from that much from your hand. That's your primary drawer card. But for a little extra search power, we are running two copies of Melody of the Awakened Dragon just to be able to search out any of your Blue Eyes monsters to really fix your hand to what you need. And of course, we are running nine level eights, so two copies of Traded. Pretty mandatory in this deck, and it can help you draw into more cards. For the extra, I am running a truncated Cypher Dragon package. One copy of Cypher Dragon just to steal cards, and then you go into Full Armor, which can just get you an additional pop. I stop at Full Armor primarily because it's 4000k, and hey, having another monster with 4k attack points isn't a bad thing. Running a number package, 38, 46, 97, and number 100. All right, number 97 can basically set up any of your other numbers with a number monster attached to it. Typically, what you're going to do is make Dragobion, um, and then you're going to basically make, use this effect to make either number 100 or number 38 with number 46 attached. A very interesting package, and it does get its job done, so that's why we run it. And the last rank 8 for the deck, Dengirsu sends a monster to the graveyard on summon, as well as protects any other small monsters from destruction. But it links. One copy of Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep does allow you to have an effect, if you have a virtual monster pointing towards it, you draw two cards and discard two cards, so see more cards. Not a bad thing, so definitely worth having in your extra two IPs, primarily just to turn around and go into some of your other links to ma and make them un unkillable by color effects. Not bad. Nightmare Unicorn to spear, spin cards off the field. Nightmare Phoenix for back row. And of course, Triple Blurst Dragon. And an addition on the gate, which is just awesome. And of course, we have. The Boral Brothers, I could call them. Boral Sword for a little extra OTK power. Or Boral Old to swipe more monsters and bust up boards. So, that's it for the extra deck. For the side, you know, once your opponent sees you're running an OTK style deck, they're going to be pretty much forcing you to go first. So, going first, you can switch over into a bit more of a control aspect. And the ritual monster you want to be running when the control is the a more Factor Pain. This card is sick and going first, whether it be game two or three. When you ritual summon this card out, your opponent's skipping in the next main phase one, which basically means they go straight to main phase two. They can't even touch the battle phase, which is just sick. Over here with the other effect, while this card's face up in the field, your opponent cannot activate the effects of fusion, synchro, or exceeds monsters, which can be very problematic in trying to extend. I know the Sinker engine they like using Metal Marcher at times. And yeah, that can actually just stop them from actually being able to do anything. So, it is a very awesome card. It has 2500 defense, which actually makes it searchable via Melody. So, definitely an awesome card. Back row hate, three copies of Cosmic Cyclone. And of course, when you're going first, boom, three copies of Creature Swap. I actually like this card um, coming in to game two when I'm going first primarily because this way it allows you to swap monsters around. Just in case you, since you're not more than likely not going to have Chaos Dragon in your deck, you, you swap off a monster you won't be able to use for more of your opponents, and then from there you basically punch into that monster with Cast Max and win the game. So, yeah to help protect or give your opponent 
more problems. Three copies of Psalm Judgment. Always great card. Can stop a monster summon, spell, or trap. So, just a great generic card to have in your extra deck. And to slow down your opponent's ability to build their board in, con in conjunction with a more factor pain. You have th three copies of summon limit, only two s summons per turn. You can't utilize fusion, synchro, or exceed effect. So yeah, that right here combination of cards can be pretty much poison to a lot of different decks. Guys, that is it for my blue eyes OTK deck for the June twenty twenty format. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the deck. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe, enable the notifications so you don't miss any upload. Check out the description box below. Find the links to my affiliates, tcgplayer.com and sidedeckversus.com. Great resources to help you build a side deck that can basically just completely and totally crush your opponent. Check out me on social media, Reddit and Twitter, as well as find my invite link to my Discord server, join a conversation, we'll love to have you. So guys, as always, until next time, peace!